Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Brittany Jade, and I'm so excited to come to you today with another Mama Mondays video. And today's video is really special because it is the first time that I've ever done a DIY on my channel. And if you didn't know my daughter's birthday, she's turning three on November 26th and we are having a PJ Masks birthday party, which we just had this past Saturday. When you guys watch this video, it'll be Monday. So we had just had the birthday party on Saturday. So it is Thursday right now, the Thursday before the party. And I wanted to show you guys how I was able to plan and decorate her entire birthday party on a budget. A lot of the items that I got were either free printables and were all items that I picked up at the local Dollar Tree and I saved so much money doing these things by myself just crafting and DIYing a lot of them. So it's a PJ Masks birthday party, so it's a superhero theme. And I'm also gonna show you some of the decor pieces as well as the gift bags that I'm making myself. So if you didn't know, there are three characters in the PJ Masks. There is Gecko, Outlet, and my daughter's personal favorite, Catboy. And the main colors in those characters are red, green, and blue. And so it was actually really easy to DIY this. I'm going to show you guys how I DIY their gift bags with three different color options representing each character. I'm also gonna show you how I do the backscape for how I'm gonna have the party set up. We're gonna do a balloon arch and I'm gonna do a nice city skyline using black construction paper and poster boards with yellow construction paper for window cutouts. And I'm going to show you guys how I DIY a beanbag toss game that we're doing as well as a pop the bomb game so just stay tuned and I hope that y'all enjoy this video if you're new here I hope that you would consider subscribing and if you're not new here welcome back thanks so much for clicking on the studio guys and I hope you enjoyed it let's get on into this <laughs> All right guys, so the very first thing that we're going to get into are these gift bags. And these are the bags that I'm gonna hand out to the kids as they're leaving. I got this idea off of Pinterest, yay for Pinterest. And I picked up all of these favors and the candies and the bags and pretty much everything from the Dollar Tree. Making these gift bags cost me about $7. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up the image that I'm planning on using on the front of each bag. I'm going to use a face mask printout that I actually found on this person's blog and I'll have her blog listed down below. She included free printable masks. So I found the Catboy, Gecko, and Owlet masks and I printed out several copies of these for my colored printer and they turned out really great. And all I did was cut them up and paste them onto the bag. It was literally the easiest thing and it's so crazy how you can transform a really blah, boring bag into something super cute for so cheap. I mean, this was literally like one of my favorite pieces were these goodie bags. thing about DIYing a child's party is that it really doesn't matter how good or how bad you are at crafting because kids this age just don't care. My daughter is turning three and a lot of her friends that came to the party were between the ages of three and five and they were just thrilled to see something with Catboy on it. I mean, it was crazy. So I was really, really happy again with how they turned out and the kids just adored these and they also loved the little toys that were on the inside. That's another good thing about the Dollar Tree is their little party favors. I mean, you can get anywhere between six party favors and 12 party favors in a pack and they're anywhere between 50 cents and a dollar. I mean, you cannot beat it, you guys. Yeah. 
Okay, so here are all of my goodie bags. I have four in each character, so 12 bags total. And like, look at how cute these are, you guys. And this cost me $3 to make 12 good bags. And I was gonna write the thank you like I should do, but that's kind of ghetto. So I'm actually just gonna seal it with these little thank you for coming printables. And these are also free that I got online. So I'll have those linked down below for you guys. And then I'm just gonna fill them with like the candies. And I also got these at Dollar Tree. So I got a bag of Dum Dums, a little thing of Starburst and they're all individually wrapped and some individually wrapped Twizzlers like I'm not trying to go too hard on the candy because it is still a little kids party um, and then I just got some of these little toys so there's like some of these whistles and then some of these whistles and then just there's like these little frog things like they're like little hoppers yeah, they do, you know, whatever. Kids are entertained easily. And I got some of these things. I used to love these things when I was a kid and I would get them at birthday parties. So I'm excited about those. And then I got some compass rings. I don't think they really like work, but you know, they're Dollar Tree toys, whatever. Kids are gonna like them. So I'm just gonna fill those up and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. But like, how cute is that guys? This entire get together thing here for the goodie bags cost me $8 eight dollars so bomb can't beat it so the next thing we're gonna go over is how to make this super easy beanbag toss game and literally this was probably the easiest game on the planet all i used was these pack of neon stars that i picked up at the dollar tree i used three plates on three different sizes that i just got from my cupboard and i used this black poster board that i also picked up from the dollar tree you're also going to need glue um, a little knife or an exacto blade would have actually been perfect and something to outline the circles with. And basically, you're just going to trace the circles, cut them out with the X-Acto blade, and then you're going to decorate with the construction paper and the starburst. So let's just go ahead. I'll have you guys watch how I do this. This is super easy. The only thing I'd recommend is not cutting this on your nice table, like making sure that you're doing this on the ground or that you have a towel underneath you. If you're not super careful, you can nick your table. So don't want you guys to do that.
how cute is this? So on these Starbursts, you can literally just label the game. You can also give each hole like a little point factor if you wanted to. I just wrote 25, 50, and 100, and the kids are just gonna take bean sacks and try and throw these in. It's super cute. I'll include a picture on how it all looked. I kinda got a crappy picture, but you'll get the gist of it anyways. I loved this game. The other game that I had was a pop the bomb game and I also found this on Pinterest. It's literally so easy. You just take black balloons, some candy and a balloon blower and you fill the balloon up and add the candies in. And I had a twist in there and I added a $5 bill to one. And it's kind of funny because I'm actually the one who popped the balloon for the $5 one. I will say though, this should be a game for older kids. It was way too young for my group of kiddos. Jumping right into the city skyline backprop, which I also got the idea from Pinterest, you're just going to use two of those poster boards that you can also pick up from the Dollar Tree. These are just light styrofoam boards, and you're just gonna use a pencil to outline a city skyline, basically. And I just took the picture straight off of Pinterest and kind of just made it my own. I'm not the best artist by any means, but all you do is cut out the skyline and then you're gonna take yellow construction paper, cut that down into strips to look like resemble windows on city buildings. And then I will walk you guys through how I made the back piece to actually hold this up for us as a standing prop. So I'm going to use two of the styrofoam circles from the beanbag toss game and I'm going to use those as a way to stand these boards up on their own. So I just cut two of the holes in half and I'm basically going to use these as an anchor. So I'm going to tape them down, one like this on the um, back end. I'm gonna glue it down first and then I'm gonna tape around it. And then I'm going to cut a little slit in the other one and add it onto the back. So that way it works as an anchor to stand up on its own. So these were actually really sturdy and I loved the way that they turned out. They looked just like the scene from the show and I thought that it was a great addition to the party. Okay guys, so in lieu of doing a traditional cake this year, I decided that I was going to do um, cupcakes and I got this idea of doing cupcakes in the shape of a number three for the birthday and I'm also going to use um, the icing and I'm going to color it red, blue, and green. You're kind of getting the idea here for the PJ Masks party and I'm gonna have it, whoop, 
I'm gonna have just regular cupcakes. I got, so I picked up these decorating tips. I've gotta get some piping bags. I've got the um, coloring here, and this is just gonna color the icings. And then I got two different kinds of cupcakes. I'm gonna do a yellow and a chocolate. So I'm gonna bake these right now so that they can be cool, so I can decorate them later on today. And the time right now, it is 7.15 a.m. It's the day before the party. Oh my gosh, I need to clean that, gross. Um, so I'm going to get started on this now. So if you're like me and you don't keep a bunch of storage things in your pantry like this whenever you bake goods because I'm not much of a baker, I needed a place to store these cupcakes. If you hear the baby in the background, that's because I have him with me while I'm doing this voiceover, guys, so sorry about that. But anyways, I went and picked up this big, huge cake box from the Safeway Bakery, and they sold this to me along with the gold platter that comes along with it when you buy an actual cake, and they sold all of this to me for $3.50, so it was actually really nice. It made it look really professional, and I just loved this. It was a great way to transport the cupcakes from my house to where the party was held at my in-laws house, and yes. So I would definitely recommend if you are going to bake a cake or bake anything at home, to go out and get yourself a nice big cake box like this. I followed the instructions on the back of the cake box and I made vanilla cupcakes and chocolate cupcakes. And I used this shape image that I found on Pinterest, of course, to give me an idea of how to place the cupcakes on here to make the shape of a number three for Nova's third birthday party. So I used three different food colorings for dyeing the icings that I got, but I do wanna say that these icings that I picked up were actually not pigmented enough to get the rich, deep, royal blue and bright red and dark forest green that I wanted. They actually gave me more of a pastel-y kind of color. It didn't matter how many drops I added. So if you're looking for something more along the lines of the actual PJ Masks colors, I would definitely recommend ordering like a high pigment um, dye, but I basically just added in these tips to the piping bags and I mixed in the food coloring with the icings. I just want to say before I show you guys what the cupcakes actually turned out to look like, this is what I originally wanted them to look like and of course you have to have a Pinterest fail whenever you're doing anything DIY. I had an accident with the icing so this is how my cupcakes turned out. I mean not horrible minus the pastel colors and the creepy looking hand thing that happened. So moving right along to the balloon arch, I am so excited to show you guys how I did this. This was actually so easy, so inexpensive, and honestly, it was like the easiest thing in the world. So I just picked up several packs of balloons from the local Dollar Tree, and I used the white ribbon that you saw there, and I'm just going to tie two balloons together. You want them to be kind of similar in size, and then I'm gonna grab another two balloons, and I'm going to tie them together, and I'm going to make a cross, and I'll show you guys how I do that here. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. So yeah, if you guys didn't catch that the first time, you just tie two balloons together, then you get another two balloons and you tie them together in a knot also. And this part was super easy. You just take the two balloons each in your hand and you just twist them around one another to kind of create this foursome balloon thingamabob. This was so easy. The hardest part about all of this, honestly, was pumping up the balloons. My hands were cramping, my arms were hurting. I mean, this thing, is hard if you've ever rem who remembers the shake weight like I felt like I just did hours and hours of the shake weight when I was blowing up all these balloons Ooh, 
So then to make the garland, I take this loop of ribbon and I just intertwine them between the balloons and I'm just gonna keep on adding my four little um, combined balloons together and I'll just intertwine the ribbon through the balloons like so, if you can kind of see what I'm doing there. I'm just looping the ribbon around and under, up and under in no particular order. I'm honestly just kind of securing it that way. And it doesn't need any kind of knots or anything. It's so easy, you guys. The last thing I'm going to show you guys today are these really cute PJ Masked fruit skewer kebabs. And all I did was pick up a pack of bamboo skewers from Walmart. These were like 90 cents. It was awesome. I used green grapes, blueberries, and strawberries. And I printed off some PJ mask face printables again in the Catboy, Gecko, and Owlette characters. And I literally just put the fruit on the skewers and I taped the faces onto the tops of the sticks and they turned out really cute. The only thing I would recommend is cutting off the points once you have put the fruit on there because they were kind of sharp for the younger kids. I did have to let parents know. So that was the only thing I would recommend um, if you guys try this for yourself. But this was so cute and I loved it and all the kids loved it. All right guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed this DIY video. Thanks so much if you stuck through this entire thing. I hope that you guys got some creative ideas for your superheroes party or your birthday party or any kind of celebration where you need to be in charge of some kind of decor. And I hope that this gave you some inspiration. So if you like this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and please make sure that you hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss another upload from me. And thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Good. Keep it going. Come on, one more. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Yes.